Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Haunting Ground. We have a very busy update ahead of us, so we're just going to go ahead and get straight into it. First thing is first, we're going to head out to that collapsed balcony that we had Debellitas fall off in the last update. And we're going to use his misfortune for our gain by using the little slope here to get down to the lower floor. And the first thing we notice on our venture down here is that Debilitas is no longer here. So that could possibly mean that he's somewhere out and about looking for us. But we'll just keep that on the back burner. We got quite a few doors here to investigate. Even though for some strange reason, only two of these four doors are actually real. Yeah, it's a weird little puzzle, I guess. Mostly just a trap to slow you down in case you did fall down there and were getting chased by Debilitas. But we do want to take a quick detour through this trophy room. With its creaking fish and birds. For a very particular reason, and that's mostly to open up a shortcut back into that gallery room. This is mostly so that we can already have access to Huey. We will definitely be needing him soon enough. We can also take a little look at another more pleasant piece of art, even though it does seem to have some sinister undertones. I don't know why, that tipped over chair just seems to say danger. We can also find a little additional guest room or bedroom down here. We can actually hide under the bed or save if need be the case. This is Basically, a closer save room in comparison to, uh, oh, geez. Yeah, it may not seem like much, but that luminescent can easily attract Debilitas back to us. You can kind of circumvent all of that effort we went through to get Debilitas knocked out by having him fall. But yeah, that particular room over there is kind of a closer save room than the uh, the guest room we had earlier. But with Huey now in tow, we can more safely explore this area of the castle. So we might as well open up the other real door amongst these four. There isn't actually too much we can do in this room for right now because it's a bit hard to explain but for some reason Fiona is horribly scared of moths all of those dangerous poisonous bloodthirsty moths so we need to figure out some way to get them away from that door and they all seem to be attracted to a flower I know it was a bit hard to see but we do need to find a flower to use in that particular room. Also, for some reason, Huey is just completely ignoring us. He's being a very naughty dog. But as we explore around, we find yet another item that only Huey can get to. As he slowly creeps over to it. Yeah, a lot of these ancillary special items that Huey can get are sometimes really not worth getting. Unless, of course, you were trying to get that particular password for getting a certain amount of items. Really, though, medallions are not that useful. Maybe the better medallions, but the base medallions... You really have to be good at that gambling game to really get anything out of it. But you may be wondering why we are actually heading up this particular direction. 
And it's at this point in the game when you really have to do a lot of exploring and a lot of guesswork because, well, outside of the gorgeous view, you might be wondering what there is to do up here. Well, the keen eye and the camera change might suggest that you can actually do something with that large piece of machinery. It's just, well, it's a bit rusted and requires a little force to get moving, so we do have to kick it three times. Three is the magic number, of course. Just like that, we have opened up a new location that's actually over by that collapsed balcony from before. That was up that ladder. I didn't go up in the previous update. But all that noise yet again attracted Debilitas. This is yet another scripted instance. There's really no way to get around him chasing us here. So you have quite a few number of options you can go for. You can actually run back to that guest room we were just at down in the gallery. You can actually hide under a bed over there. But I had something else planned here. We just happened to run around the edge here. There actually is another hiding place that's a bit difficult to get in in that little gated off garden there, but I don't think we had enough time. But what I actually wanted to do was, if you notice this little hole over here, Go. well, I was trying to guide Huey into it, but if you notice his stance, he's pretty much in attack mode now, so he's not really going to be too open to us directing him into things. Pretty much our go command has now become attack. So it seems we're not actually going to be able to use this particular trap, but with a little fade out, we can actually head back towards another trap. This one is even more obtuse than the hole we just saw, and it does require having Huey with you, because you do get a different outcome if you don't have him, but if we guide Debilitas over to this far corner over here, you'll notice that the railing is missing. And like that, we have yet again taken out Debilitas, at least for a little bit. But in this circumstance, we can actually get down to his body. Also, I was thinking about decreasing my panic, mostly because mm, it's getting a bit high, but then I realized we only have you know, two items apiece for both stamina and panic, so we're still really not in a position to use them too often. But, since we can actually get to Debilitas' unconscious body, we find that we can actually loot items off of him. But, we can only loot them once. If you decide to try to loot him again, he will actually get back up, and the chase will be on again. But, I decided to cut a little bit ahead to back where basically we were. All you kind of missed there was a little bit of a hallway. Nothing much to it. But in this connecting courtyard, we pull a lever which gains us access to another shortcut. And it may be a bit hard to remember. Oh, 
don't want to go in there just yet. But yeah, that was actually the area leading to the music room where we found that wooden effigy. But more importantly, there are some beautiful flowers in bloom behind that gate. Go! So what we need to do is yet again direct Huey to go get it, since we cannot fit through the gate. Go! And we get fresh flowers. And it's good to keep in mind that they are fresh. If you keep these items for too long, they will become wilted and will actually become useless to where you'll have to come back and get the flowers yet again. But good boy, Huey. Sit. Sit. But yet, yeah, the hint that you were supposed to use these flowers was that you could kind of see a moth hovering around them and, you. well, they do kind of look similar those flowers in hand, we can now go back to that room where we saw all the moths before. But there is one more tricky piece of this puzzle, and we actually do need to send Huey into this hole. Go, Huey. The one thing to keep in mind is that pretty much if you issue any commands, Huey will just come running back to you, so you need you do need to make sure you don't issue any commands to him. But with flowers in hand, we now have a place to put the flowers in this empty vase. And with that, we should have this puzzle solved. Just an incredibly odd puzzle in my opinion. It's pretty much akin to most other Capcom survival horror games, but I don't know, moths just seem so weird. Just, they're not threatening in the least, but yeah, in this laundry room we find a hidden away item over here. This is another medallion. <laughs> I guess they really expected you to do a lot with that uh, gambling minigame, but I don't know. I, I might show off more of it. But down the ladder, we find the reason that we guided Q into that hole before, and that's so he could give us this key. Now the question is, do you guys remember where the study was? Well, I certainly do, but it I, I, I seem to remember it being quite a distance away. It's certainly going to be kind of tedious to backtrack. Or it would be, except the castle is actually set up in such a way that it's not too hard to get back. But I actually did skip over this area before, and that's mostly due to we actually needed to get the study key before this particular event would trigger. But it seems like we can hear voices. That was certainly unexpected, though I am glad we were able to actually pull back our hands and not a bloody stub. But we got a brand new message. This might actually be from that gentleman we got the phone call from earlier warning us about Ricardo. 
But he does give us some information regarding an old mansion that seems to lie beyond Belly Castle. He also gives us information as to how we can reach it, though the information might not immediately make sense since we haven't actually interacted with any of these lunar panels or chapels or anything like that. But it's not actually going to be too difficult to figure out. It's going to be fairly simple since this is still kind of a starting area. But first thing is first, we are going to head to that shortcut I was mentioning before. It's actually not through that uh, doorway we open. It's actually further down the pathway here. Where we get another odd sense of, you know, just the architecture of this place making little to no sense. Also, if you're wondering what Huey is growling at, I'm going to assume it's a luminescent. I don't think Debilitas is anywhere nearby. Though I can certainly guarantee this is a very cumbersome place to run into him to. But we actually find ourselves on the second floor of the music room. Before we continue on, we actually find our first little lunar light panel here. And it's simple enough to figure out. All we have to do is turn it until it gives a clicking sound. And now we can actually go around this... I can't tell if those are speakers or... I, I really don't know, but more importantly, by unlocking this door, we find the shortcut all the way back to the guest room area, or relatively close to it. What was that? Someone slapping meat together? Uh, well, we'll get to that in a second. First, we are going to use our steady key. It's actually pretty easy to overlook this room, especially if you didn't investigate it at the start, or if you didn't investigate this particular desk, but we find a, well, a lunar refractor. It just appears to be a mirror. We'll be using that probably in the next update to finish up that Lunar Reflector Quest. But I was just kind of hoping that uh, I could dissipate that particular luminescent, but... Yeah, I think it's going to take a little bit more than that. Problem is that there is yet another luminescent, but... Well, it seems that sound we heard is coming from this door here, where the typewriter was. Where is he? Where is the old man? Where's he hiding? Touch her. Do you hear me, old man? The Azoth is mine. that incredibly odd cutscene, we get into our first state of full panic. Yes, this is certainly one of the more dangerous places to be in the game. Very narrow corridor with a 
Almost complete loss of control and debilitas right in our face. So I figure we might as well lower our panic. I know it was a bit hard to see, but whenever we're under full panic, we can only run at full speed. Sometimes she will stumble, and if she does happen to fall completely on the ground, she will move massively slow, and the next hit will instantly kill her. So we definitely, definitely do not want to ever be in full panic, but thankfully the guest room is nearby. Definitely seems like Debilitas is getting more and more aggravated that we're not letting him capture us. But we're just going to fade out in a second because this particular bit of hiding took almost a minute and a half since he decided he didn't want to leave. And with that, we are actually going to call this a video. Join me next time as we actually finish off this section of the castle in Haunting Ground.